Trigger, trigger fingers mine. Right? She loves that. And it sounds so cool. Who does this Tristan Paredes think he is judging the way people sing like that? <laughs> What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So today I am talking about Tristan Paredes. So for those of you who have been around for a while and don't know how to spell my lovely girlfriend's name, let's do a quick little lesson. This is Tristan and this is my gorgeous Tristan. All right, see the difference? <laughs> It's a little pet peeve of hers when people spell her name wrong. But I also I also don't appreciate when people spell my name wrong, but not my first name, my last name. I wonder how many people know my last name. Whatever. But anyways, <laughs> so uh, my girlfriend Tristan, oh God, this is gonna get confusing. This is gonna get really confusing, isn't it? Okay, so my girlfriend Tristan was watching Tristan <laughs> Paredes last night. And like, I, I, I like his stuff. I watch, I, I love seeing, um, you know, him react to things. Uh, those of you who don't know, he's a vocal coach and reacts to like different singers and all of that. And it's really interesting. Like I, I love music, like a lot of people do. And I like hearing people who, you know, understand like, you know, the science, if you will, and the strategy behind singing. And my girlfriend, Tristan, was watching him last night and it was his video, Billy Eilish Ends My Career. And I was like editing a video and I heard him talking and I'm like, oh my God. Me and Tristan are the same person. So something I'm always trying to do with my channel and the way my channel's kind of pivoted this year is I'm always trying to teach all of you how to see the similarities rather than the differences, right? I'm trying to help you see like these YouTubers that you're watching, they're doing a lot of the things that you're doing. They're struggling with a lot of the things that you're doing. I'm trying to have you learn from them, right? And it was interesting because when, when Tristan was making that video um, about Billie Eilish, I was like, wow, he's a vocal coach and I'm like kind of like a mental health coach and me and him are dealing with the same thing, right? So anyways, here's, <laughs> here's some of the reaction that Tristan got from Billie Eilish's uh, audience as well as Billie Eilish. Right, whatever Queen Cat. People are always saying mean things on the internet. I don't even, ha I don't have to look at it all the time. What? But, but, what? Look at, look at Billy, Billy Eilish's Snapchat. Billy snapped about you. What? What? Who else came from her story? What, what are you talking, did, did, what? What the heck? What is going on, Queen Cat, what is going on? Look at her Snapchat, you imbecile. What is this? I don't... What? So yeah, Tristan was a little bit flabbergasted by this whole situation because, you know, as he goes on in that video, and I'll link it down below, he's like, you know, I didn't even really say anything bad about her, you know? Why was she so upset? But I could really connect with what he said right here. What the heck? Like, those reaction videos are not for her. Those videos are for, like, her fans and that want to learn how to sing like her. Or like sometimes new people get introduced to her music through those videos. So like, I don't know why she wouldn't like them. Exactly, exactly. You guys, that is what I'm talking about all the time. And, and a lot of you get it. A lot of my subscribers, people who have been around the channel, you get it, you understand what I'm doing. I often tell people like, I'm not making videos about YouTubers, I'm making videos for you. All right, so Tristan, what he's doing is he's making videos for fans or people who, you know, um, want to sing like this person. Or if somebody's being uh, trying to be an aspiring singer, they can learn from these um, other artists, right? And that's what I'm doing here on this YouTube channel. I want to take what you're already consuming and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. That's why I say it at the beginning of every freaking video. So most of the time, most of the time, there's no harm, there's no shade, anything like that towards the actual YouTuber. But the thing is, is that Tristan and my job are very similar because we, we have to tell people things that they don't wanna hear, all right? Like, we have to tell people, hey, 
You're not doing this to the best of your ability. Hey, you're awesome at this, but you could do this a little bit better, right? So in Tristan's instance, he's teaching people how to tweak their voice, maybe some form and different things to do with their mouth. I don't know, stuff like that, right? To critique them. And people can get really defensive about that. My job, you know, I've worked in addiction treatment for years, and my job is to go up to people and say, yo, the way that you're running your life is not good. It is the reason why your life is such a mess. I have to tell people that, you know why? Because when I got clean and sober, people had to tell me that. So when Tough Love Chris comes out on this channel, it's because I have to tell you that too. And trust me, people like Tristan, people like myself, we get it. Hell, even like my girlfriend Tristan, she gets it because she worked in uh, you know the mental health field too. And she's becoming a social worker. Like We have to tell people these things, right? And here's the thing, I hope you guys realize this. Like This is one of the reasons why I do not take offense to your comments. I have worked in addiction treatment. I have had people come in who are dying, right? They have lost everything in their life too. Family won't talk to them, friends won't talk to them. They lost their wife, they lost their children, they lost their husband, they lost their family, whatever it is, right? And these people come into treatment, I'm telling them a bunch of stuff they don't wanna hear, they come up and they cuss me out and they hate me throughout treatment. But do you know, do you know how many phone calls that I've gotten after people left treatment where they apologized to me and said, Chris, I'm sorry for treating you like that. I understand why you told me all those things. Now it makes sense. Thank you so much, you saved my life. So do you think that I get offended when people like you go down in those comments and start acting ratchet? You must be crazy, because I sleep fine at night. Well, I don't sleep fine, but it has nothing to do with the comments. It's a little bit of sleep apnea, but we're working on that. I went to the gym today. But this is a great example right here. I wanna show you kind of what happened with Tristan uh, Paredes and James Charles. So Tristan made this video because James Charles was getting a lot of flack about his cover of Ariana Grande, um, God is a Woman, and James Charles got really defensive about it, so Tristan said some things like this in his reaction video. Comment may think, there's not a single note in that cover that is wrong. Every single note is perfectly on pitch. There's one that sharp or flat because I went in and corrected every single one. Now, my tone on a few of the notes may be a little bit off because- Okay, so this is where I've got to stop sister over here. Sister's being a little bit, what's the word? Just say it, bitch. Sister's being delusional as f And you know what? For a vocal coach, your pitch isn't very good either. It's different from the rest. And boy, if you confess, you might get blessed. That was not bad too. Again, but the, the only thing that I want from you- sister. I just still want a little bit more nasal airflow and a little bit more presence in your voice because your voice likes to love, 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 take it. It just loves to oh, go into this breathy thing and sort of like a, a doled out sound instead of slow. But what that led up to was James Charles admitting that he gets overly defensive about this and he invited Tristan out and they did an entire collab together where Tristan helped James craft and hone his skills. Uh, better. Okay. Yeah, keep, keep going. One, two, three, one, two, three, try yeah, that. Let's we'll start this one over. <laughs> Go one, two, three, try that. One, two, three, one, two, three, try that. That's better. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's one of the things that we all have to do. We have to realize like, is this person saying something to us to be malicious or are they saying something to us to help us better ourselves, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. There are a lot of judgmental people out there giving a lot of unsolicited advice and you have to learn how to filter that information. My best advice to you is to ask yourself, what is this person's intent, right? What what is this person trying to do? Are they trying to harm me or are they trying to help me? You know what I mean? So like, I think it's very, very, very important to think about that. The other thing I want you to think about is something that I've been experiencing a lot lately because my channel's been like blowing up recently is that you see people just blindly defend who they follow. And this is something I've talked about a lot of times, a lot on my channel. I talked about it in my Shane Dawson Film Theorist video where people are just gonna go and defend who they're gonna defend, they're gonna hate who they're gonna hate without gathering all the facts, right? So a lot of people went after Tristan, you know, because Billie Eilish was like talking crap about him, right? And they just went over there and said this to him, like, oh, Billie said this, well, I'm gonna go after him. And Tristan's like, wait, what? You know, so I want you to like kind of be mindful of that. Like, there's nothing that makes me giggle a little bit more than when people come to my videos and they comment when they clearly didn't watch the video. Um, something I've been saying to a lot of people lately is like, do you ever feel a little bit silly 
commenting on something before you watch it. Like, I just wonder, I, I'm really curious about that, right? But anyways, anyways, I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below, like, how do you take criticism, right? Do you, do you get really defensive? Do you take it in? Do you ask yourself like, are they trying to help me? Are they gonna try to help me improve? Like, let me know like down in the comments below because I really, this is a really interesting topic and I wanna make some more videos on it, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing, we got some new names up there. And if you would like to be part of the Patreon Q&A or see exclusive content, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.